Welcome everyone to my review on Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Just to, just to make things clear, um, this game is not your average Zelda game. It's not a traditional Zelda game. This is a Warriors game, just making that clear. Now let's get into the video. Age of Calamity has very satisfying combat. It's so nice to just plow through a bunch of enemies with a couple of swings of your sword. Not only is the combat satisfying, the enemies itself, there's a wide variation of enemies compared to in Breath of the Wild. Like for example, instead of just having moblins, there's fire moblins, electric moblin, and many other variations of enemies. That's not the only new thing. The Blight Ganons are completely remade. They're like a mega evolution to their version in Breath of the Wild. They're completely different. The best way to explain it is like Mega Lucario to Lucario. Of course, I'm not going to show you what they look like, because that may spoil the game for you. Another great thing that I very much appreciate was that your weapons never break in Age of Calamity. Unlike in Breath of the Wild, they'll break all the time. I'm pretty sure that paints the picture very well. It's so nice to see the land of Hyrule back at its original form before the calamity ever struck. It's just nice to see what it, what it used to be before Breath of the Wild. Now onto the cons of the game. So at the start of the game, Link was very overpowered for me. But by the end of the game, he was even with everyone else who I fought with. So it's kind of a con, but also not really. At many points in the game, you have to deal with low frame rate, but for me, it wasn't that bad because I only played on TV. If you play on hand handheld, I'd guess it would be worse. One of the worst parts of the game, in my opinion, is the piloting of the Divine Beasts. Of course, you don't have to do it that much, but when you do have to do it, it is so tedious and annoying. I'm not here to pilot a Divine Beast. I'm here to hack and slash through many enemies and, do it and play the game that way, not pilot a Divine Beast. Some of the side missions in the game, they get very repetitive because almost every single one has a certain time limit and a certain amount of en enemies you have to kill. So in my mind, they could have been a m bit more original with this and they could have added like a couple more escort missions where you have to get someone to a certain location or something. It just gets very repetitive over time. Thanks for watching the video. And if you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe. And if this video didn't persuade you to buy the game, then just get the demo on the Switch. It's free, and uh, it's a good demo. So, see you all next time.